YouTube channel. I've got 7.91 thousand subscribers. And a big milestone for all YouTubers is the 100,000 subscriber mark. That's when YouTube sends you a silver play button, which feels like a big deal. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about a way that you could estimate when someone might hit 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to show you some mathematics, and if you're in my maths class, I'm going to tell you a little something about exponential functions. So the cheater's way to do this is to go to socialblade.com, type in your YouTube channel and search for it, and click on it, and go to future projections. If we go to future projections here and we go down here, you can see I'll have 101,000 subscribers in three years and four months. At least that's what this website is guessing. How did they come to that number? Well, let's do the work ourselves. And here I am at YouTube Studio. I'm going to go into my analytics and I'm going to go into advanced mode for analytics. All right, from here, views, I'm going to click subscribers here and it'll give me some nice graphs here. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to look at my lifetime graph. Again, my lifetime graph is not going to help me much, but I'm going to download the raw data as, uh, let's put open it in a Google Sheet. I've opened it in a Google Sheet here, lots of different things, but I'm going to go into my totals, and you can see I get dates and subscriber lists. Now I'm just going to add in a couple more columns here, uh, and that's going to make my life a little bit easier. It looks like I started my channel on this day. I don't think I uploaded any videos, but I'm going to call that day zero and then one. I'm going to highlight those two and just go all the way down. And that's going to go all the way down to the bottom. 2,953 days. Now, this is the subscribers I picked up each day, but I want a running total of subscribers. So I'm going to let this equal the first subscriber number, which is zero. And then I'm not going to do an autofill. I'm going to do um, equals this number plus this number. And that's going to keep a running total. And if I drag that down, all right. And now if we scroll all the way down, we can see a running total. And we end up at 7,920, which is how many subscribers I've got. From here, I'm going to create a graph highlighting these two columns, inserting a chart. Now, it's not going to know what kind of chart I want. It's just going to try its best. I don't want a line chart. I want a scatter plot. All right. It still looks the same, but those are each individual single little dots. Okay, from there. So from here, we're going to customize in the chart area. We're going to jump into the series here, scroll down. We want a trend line. Now you can see it sticks a linear trend line in here, but my graph's not linear, it's exponential. So we'll choose an exponential here, and you can see a little bit of it there. The rest of it's hidden underneath there. All right, uh, we can do a couple of things here. We can show the equation. Not that that's going to mean much right now. Might come back to that. And we can show an R squared value of 0 0.994. That means that exponential is following these dots really, really closely. I'm just going to change my horizontal axis because I'm just going to stretch out that maximum by a lot, maybe out to like 10,000. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same to my Y axis here. Um, move that up to 100,000 because that's how many subscribers I want to get. All right. And you can see... I'm going to be, according to my exponential graph, I'm going to be at 100,000. I'm going to get my play button, um, where whatever that number is right there. So I went back and forth on the axis. Uh, it looks like we're at about 4,300 days since I started the channel. Now, I've already been going for 2,953 days. So if I take the predicted... 4, 300, and subtract 2953. 1,347 days from now, I'll get my play button. Um, if we want that in years, that's going to be that uh, divided by 365. 3.69 years, uh, 3.7 years. So maybe three years and like nine months or something. Uh, now, remember what Social Blade told us. They said three years and four months. So they're a little bit more optimistic than my exponential function is telling me. Right, I'm going to get more serious with this. There's lots and lots and lots of dots here. And actually, there's just too much information here. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to squeeze down my information a little bit. So what I've done is extract some numbers from here. 
just the start of 2015 and how many subscribers I had, start of 16 and how many subscribers I had, all the way down to the start of this year and how many subscribers I had. That chart's going to be much more readable, but we're still going to have all the information we need. So I'm just going to call the year 2015 zero, the 2016 year one, and so on. And let's create a chart from just that data. Now, isn't that just so much more pleasing? Just a few little dots showing the trend for my subscriber count. And when I add my trend line and look at my axes here, we can still see, we're about here right now, we can still let's see it's going to take one, two, three, about three and a half years before I get to 100,000. All right, I'm still not convinced here because Social Blade and we, we disagree a little bit. I've jumped into GeoGebra, one of my favorite apps, jump into GeoGebra, paste my values into the spreadsheet here, and I'm going to create a list of points. Here's my list of points, and you can see them moving up steadily. Uh, just like before, nothing's changed there. Now we can fit an exponential function, just like we did with our trend line earlier. Now fit an exponential function just by typing fit exponential, fit exp, and I get this nice exponential curve. When we zoom into it, we get a little bit of a surprise here. You can see that I'm supposed to have 100,000 subscribers before the 10-year mark. Whereas before, this Google Sheets fit an exponential curve and told me that I was going to hit the 100,000 mark after the 10-year mark, quite a bit more. So GeoGebra is being a bit more optimistic than Google Sheets. Um, let's just check Excel real quick. Excel seems pretty in line with what GeoGebra is saying. In fact, if we ask Excel what the equation of the line is, we get 26.752e to the this number. If we look at GeoGebra, we get a very similar number, just with the rounding issues there. However, Google Sheets, um, their equation is totally different. 63.2 instead of 25 something, and uh, 0 0.679 instead of 0 0.8 something. I'm not sure why Google Sheets is fitting curves differently to GeoGebra and Excel, but if you know, let me know. But I'm going to go with the best two out of three, which is obviously Excel and GeoGebra. I'm really not enjoying having to like continue to say, oh, at the 10 year mark, I want to know how far from today, or at least from the start of this year. So I'm going to set today as year zero and make this year negative one and negative two and kind of count my way backwards here to the start of my YouTube channel's life. Um, what's that going to look like? It doesn't change anything, it just moves the curve over. But now I get to talk in terms of from the start of this year, one, two, three, less than three years, 2.7 something years. Now, this is weird now because um, GeoGebra is telling me it's only going to take 2.7 years. Whereas Social Blade was saying it was going to take 3.5 years. Excel agrees with GeoGebra, they agree with each other, and they disagree with Social Blade. So what is Social Blade doing differently than what I'm doing? Well, look at my curve, look at how it's fitting. You can see it's not, it's fitting, it's trying to fit itself to all seven of these points. And by doing so, it has to make compromises. And one of the compromises it makes is said, well, we can't come across all of these and H as well. So we're going to jump above H. So I think the beginning of my YouTube career, we should probably ignore it because I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't even publishing them properly. I was putting them on listed and stuff like that. So let's ignore these bits entirely. Let's get rid of the first two years of YouTube entirely. And now let's create a new list and fit a curve to that new list. So now considering just the last five years of data rather than the full seven years of data, you can see 100,000. Uh, I'm going to be at 100,000 in the 4.2 year mark. Um, that's not what Social Blade said. Social Blade said 3.4. So I think Social Blade isn't counting even this far back. I think Social Blade is only counting like the last couple of years. Kind of like your, your, your most recent performance is probably indicative of your performance moving forwards. All right, and I think I might be there. So only three points now, 
And then if I go up to here, 100,000 at the 3.4 3.4 year mark, about 3.4 months, which is what, um, about, which is what Social Blade was saying. So I think that's how Social Blade's coming, going about it. And that's how you could calculate yours if you wanted to. Um, you should always consider the data that you're working with and then sort of say, how should I work with it? But what if you didn't want to use fancy software like this? What if you wanted to go really old school? Well, I'm going to take these numbers here and these numbers here, except I'm going to switch back to like zero year, one year, two years. Um, same sort of idea, but then we just sort of project forward a little bit. I'm going to use these values, actually maybe just this value and this value, and I'm going to go super old school. So old school, we're going pen and paper or pen and glass here. Now we know that uh, exponential models, subscribers will be equal to initial subscribers e to the power of k t, where k is some value. All right, so I had two values that I was going to use. I said that at time zero, I had uh, 1,565. Now that's actually two years ago. Uh, now, two years later, at time two, I have uh, 7,211. And I'm going to use these points here. Now, I know that at time zero, I had this, and so this is subscriber zero count. At time zero, I have 1,565 e to the kt. Okay, and then I can use this other point to sub in for s and for t. At time two, I have 7,211 subscribers. So now that I've done that, I can just solve for K. If you've got a fancy graphics calculator, you can use N solve and solve for K really simply, or you can rearrange this using like natural logs and use one of these calculators to find the value of K, old school. Now when I do that, I get a K value of 0 0.76386. Now again, you really don't need to do all this n solve because you'll have a fancy calculator I imagine. But now that I know what k is, I have an exponential function. My subscribers will be equal to 1565e to the 0 0.76386t. And now I can answer the question, when will I have 100,000 subscribers? Just by subbing 100,000 in for s. Now, when I solve that for t, I get t equals 5.44 years. Now, I'll do it properly now. I'll tell you exactly how many months. So, five years and five months. And you might be looking at this thinking, uh-oh, wait a minute. Social Blade didn't say five years and five months. Social Blade said three years and four months. You're two years out. But no, remember that our time zero is two years ago. And our time two was the first day of this year, right? So five years and five months means five years and five months from the first of two years ago. So it's actually three years and five months from the first of this year, but it's now the first of March. So how long from this moment, three years, and three months. I disagree with Social Blade by a single month. I'm a little bit more optimistic than they are. So that's my prediction. Three years, three months from now, I'm getting a button.